Replacing only internal components on mixer. Remove mounting nuts or knobs holding seal and slide the cover plate or housing down the shaft. Remove the screws in both PTFE rotor cuffs and cut off elastomer boot if RTV is used and clean the housing of product. Next, assemble new PTFE rotor cups around the shaft using two machine screws in each cup. Rotor cup bores should face each other when installed. Hand tighten the screws so that the seams mate evenly. Apply a maximum of 0.3 feet per pound of torque. Do not over tighten screws. This may cause damage to the PTFE rotor cups. Place split boot around shaft between the rotor cups. Glue the split puzzle cut with RTV. Hold glue joint together for a five minute minimum for curing purposes. Now push rotor cups and boot together. Boot hubs should fit into the bores within the rotor cups. Slide assembly on shaft until inboard rotor cup seats up against the inner housing bore surface. There should be a slight resistance on the shaft when moving parts. The rotor cups should be oriented with each other so their split lines are 90 degrees apart from each other. Place end plate against housing and fasten it to the bulkhead. Tighten all external bolts to manufacture recommended torques. Finally, attach a 1 8 inch NPT airline fitting into housing and attach airline with pressure regulator to tubing port. Each seal needs to have its own dedicated pressure regulator. Turn on air supply and jog shaft a few turns. There should be no binding or grinding. There may be a slight air leakage. If excessive, adjust pressure so there is minimum leakage. Run equipment and observe whether there is any product leakage. If so, air pressure may need to be increased. Now your cinch seal replacement installation is complete.